you can create drawings with the turtle, but you can also import costumes. The costumes library has uh, a number of built-in costumes. So if I select this costume, it transforms the turtle into that object. You can also import uh, objects from clip art. So if I want a dog, I just search on dog and find one that I like. And then I simply download it. So I'm going to do a save image as and save it uh, to my desktop. Once I've saved the image to the desktop, there are a number of services that can be used to remove backgrounds. So I'm going to use uh, type in Adobe Express Background Remover and it will bring up an application made available by Adobe that can be used without a charge. And then I'll ask to upload the photo. Simply drag it in and the application will then remove the background. Once I've removed the background, I'll download it. And after I download it, I can drag this uh, image into the, uh, into the, the uh, costume area and go to looks and set it to the size I want. In this case, I'm gonna make it say about 50% of its current size. So now I have a dog to go with uh, the other costume. Now I could have attempted to draw the dog with the turtle, but there aren't really patterns of regularity that would lend themselves to creating this object with the turtle. The turtle really is more suited to non-representational art like the turtle art that we looked at uh, last week. So this way you can quickly uh, either use an internal built-in costume or you can go and get uh, almost anything on the internet uh, and import that as well to populate uh, whatever scene you're trying to create.